welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing a dummy cake and a fake cake, uh, I mean cupcake and a fake cake. So these are very simple to do. I like doing these to either you could work with in a party where you could just display this while you bring out the good cake because many times um, a lot of people have their parties outside. So this will be perfect for that. And then also I for my business that if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Be Crafty Creations. You could actually put um, this for displays to show your cake toppers once they're done. Um, also your cupcake toppers. And I will show you what you need. So first off, you will need plaster. This I got at Home Depot and it's very inexpensive. And also a mixing bowl water and a mixing tool just to mix and a tin for just to place in it this could be any of your toys this could be square round this one was a bigger size this is a little bit smaller if you could tell it, it's a little bit smaller but i also have a bigger one which I'll be using for some other project that I have. But these are all the tools and supplies you need. This is what I use to make the inside of the cupcake because this the top, the frosting, it's actually this mixed with spackling. Okay, so let's get started. Right here, we're gonna pour, I mean, you could measure, but I choose not to because this tends to um, actually dry really fast. So I, I do as I go. Okay. And you want it to be the consistent, consistency of a pancake mix. So here I put too much water, so I'm going to add more plaster. And you can use gloves if you want. I choose not to because they just bug me, to be honest. And you just got to mix, mix. See, like this is too watery to me still. So... You gotta play around with it. To get the right mix here. See, like this is much better. I think this will be perfect for me. I've been bugging my kid to help me do this for a while already and he finally and this little tools here I got them at the 99 at the Dollar Tree I believe and these work perfect to even up edges like I said if you want it to be more soft then make it more soft looking it's up to you okay guys so after 30 minutes this is the finished product um but like i said you could work on texture however you want to but i find it that this is what i want but not really if that makes any sense but for the sake of the video i'm going to show you that I'm going to tell you actually that you could sand this down with a sander, a, a, a paper sand, and just sand it down so you don't have all these little lumps. Um, and you could work with it where it's 
more softer for you however you want okay so right here i just want to tell you that you could change the top at sprinkles color whatever you want on it so thank you so much for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe like and share my <laughs>